Mary Caminetti from Kind Country Living. I hope each one of you have had a great week and happy Sunday to all. Today we're going to do a simple recipe, but it's a recipe that a lot of people um, have asked me for and a lot of people always when we have stuff want me to bring chicken salad. So I thought, okay, we're having a baby shower at work tomorrow. So um, we're going to do chicken, I was going to do chicken salad. So here we go. We're going to do chicken salad. So this is for all the people that have asked me to make chicken salad. Now you'll know exactly what Mary does. Okay, so I'm going to start off with three, well, it's about two and a half chicken breasts um, here um, in this um, pan. I took and boiled it. Um, and it's probably boiled, probably about an hour, but you have to boil it to its tender that you can tear it. You also can use a rotisserie chicken. You also can use baked chicken. I have did it, but I always use chicken breast when I, um, the breast part of the chicken when I do my chicken salad. And I also go through and I pick out the little black pieces of chicken. Um, I almost did all of it, but I see a couple pieces because I don't like any black um, pieces of chicken to be in my chicken salad. I like all of my meat to be white. So um, that's why I always use the um, breast instead of, you know, like the thighs. All right. Okay. And then we're going to start off with, this is a half a cup of sweet seedless grapes. Well, I say sweet seedless grapes, but it was some seeds in here that I had to kind of pick out. But I kind of just cut them in fourths. And then this is about a half a cup of pecans. And I have did it with walnuts, but pecans is what I had. Um, on hand that tasted fresh because I tried to do walnuts and they just didn't taste fresh Okay, and then I have a half a cup of celery. I'm gonna use salt and black pepper to taste About a tablespoon of the onion powder a tablespoon of the garlic powder And I also did shake parsley in it just for the color and I probably use about two tablespoons of a mayo and I know y'all laughing but I always use the real mayo or I use blue plate when I do chicken salad. I don't use the off brand when I do that. Okay, and then I use um, sweet reddish and I have used the sweet um, salad cubes, but sweet reddish is what I have. So, you know, I make it work with whatever I got in my kitchen. And I also use a little bit of um, sugar in my um, chicken salad because I don't like really tart, bitter chicken salad. So let's put this together and all of this will be in the description box below. Okay, so the first thing I do, I always start with my marinades. And like I said, I'm gonna use about two tablespoons and I kind of just mix it up. <clears throat> just mix it up real good. And I just sort of broke my chicken up with my hand. Um, after I cooked it, I let it cool and kind of broke it up a little bit. And then I'll start with the sweet radish and I'll just put some of that in there. And I'm kind of just eyeballing mine, but I gave y'all um, measurements. But you know, I really don't measure out a lot of my stuff when I'm cooking. And I'm gonna need more mayonnaise because I don't like my chicken salad to be real thick and tight. That's the thing about good chicken salad. You don't want it to be thick and tight. It needs to be real loose. Loose as a goose. That's me trying to be funny today. I told y'all I need to be a comedian. I shouldn't try to be a cook. This y'all entertainment for Sunday. Free of charge. You know everybody likes stuff free. Well, it's still a little tight, but I'll go ahead and add um, some of my grapes. Like I said, it's not hard making good chicken salad um, once you get your chicken done. And like I said, you can use um, rotisserie chicken because I have used that before. And that does give it a good taste, but I had some chicken breasts. And so that's what I use today. And I'm going to just add more pickles. Well, it's not pickles, sweet radish. And there's one thing I have forgot to get out of my refrigerator that I do put in there sometimes for the color and taste is um, a little mustard. But we'll fix that right here. 
and I just squeeze a little mustard in here. Ooh, probably should chuck that a little bit. Put a little water in there. So that's that's a lesson. Shake it before you start squeezing. And that's probably only about a tablespoon of mustard. And you kind of just play with it. If you don't really like um, mustard, don't use mustard. You don't want pecans, because now I won't put pecans in it for uh, my husband to eat, because he don't like pecans in his. All he wants is meat. He's a meat eater. He just wants the meat, really. All right, a little bit more mayonnaise. Like I said, you have to kind of play with that mayonnaise, because I probably put about three tablespoons, but this chicken is a little tight here. Like I said, don't want it tight. Want it real loose. Let's go ahead and put all the rest of my grapes in. But um, like I said, it's real easy. So I'm going to put some of my celery in. I know some of the people at work asked me, what you gonna make? What you what you gonna make for your video? I said that chicken salad that y'all want me to bring on um Monday. Y'all gonna see that chicken salad. So that's what they get. So I just shuck a little salt in there. Now I'm shaking pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and do my onion um powder. And I do onion powder because some people don't like to crunch down and um raw onions you know but people can kind of tolerate the the celery but if you want to you know put onions chopped onions in yours you could do the um just regular raw chopped onions if you know your family or the gathering you taking it to and you prefer to do that i mean you can do that i said make these dishes your own just because i do something don't mean you have to do it or you don't even have to use the brands i use use um what you um what you like to use. But this is looking really, really good, y'all. I can't wait to taste it. Because I love some chicken salad. I love cheese and I love chicken. Okay, here we go with some more mayonnaise. We got about enough marinades now. If I can get out to the bottom, I probably should have used that big spoon. Y'all probably thinking, lady, you got two big spoons besides you, and you trying to use that little bit of little spoon. But don't y'all say that. Y'all be kind to Mary, because you know it doesn't cost a dime to be kind. And I hope y'all still remember that. I really hadn't really said it um, too much lately, but y'all remember that we need to be kind to one another. Be kind to people on your job. People at church. I know a lot of people haven't started back having church service yet. Be kind to people in the street. You know, just be kind. We just need to show kindness. Because God is love, not hate. You know, all these people are preaching and talking about hate. And, you know, that's not what God wants us to do. Because he loved us so much, he gave us his only begotten son. Now, how many of us will give, give up our children for somebody else? Not too many of us. So, just let's, let's just be kind. All right. We about got this stuff all mixed up here. Put the rest of my celery in. I'm going to go ahead and put everything else in. And I might not put all these nuts in. We may just see how that gonna go. Let's do some more mayonnaise. But like I said, I don't like real dry mayonnaise. I meant mayonnaise. Um, chicken salad. So I think I got it like I want it now. And make sure you when you um pick out your grapes. Make sure they sweet grapes. Don't get those bitter grapes. You don't want 
bitter grapes in your um, chicken salad. That really is not a good combination with your chicken. Well, I say not a good combination, but not a good combination for me. You may like that. You may want it. And this parcel is just for um for looks to make it real pretty. I'm trying to make it pretty for the girls tomorrow. It's gonna look good, it's gonna taste good. It's gonna be yummy to their tummies. Right. So I think this is about the way I want it. And um, usually what I do with the sugar, I have it here, but I usually always taste a little bit of it before um, I put sugar in it. Because if you got real sweet grapes, you're not gonna need that much sugar. And so this is two and a half um, chicken breast and they were about that big and I probably use I say about I said two tablespoons but that's probably about four really tablespoons of mayo so like I said you have to kind of play with it and see but we're gonna plate this up for you guys we're not gonna hold y'all long but like they said in the african-american church we're gonna just hold you long enough so let's just I'll go ahead and plate this up for you guys Nice, simple, easy um, recipe. And you know I like to taste it, so I got to get my crackers. So we're going to put it on this plate. Don't that look good? I think I probably need a little more grapes in it, though. That I think I do. But um, I don't have any cut up, but we'll, 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 we'll fix that. But let me just taste it just a little bit to see if I need any um any sugar. Mm, maybe just a little bit. Not much though. So I think that's about one tablespoon of sugar. Yep, so one tablespoon of sugar is about all you're going to need um, for that, for my taste. Now, like I say, your taste may be different. You may want two tablespoons. Like I said, that's just a base of what I put in my chicken salad. You can put what you want to in your chicken salad to fit your family's likings or whatever um, gathering you having to the people that's going to eat it. You can fix it to be, you know, their liking. And I don't put a lot of salt in it, but I do put a little bit of salt because chicken most time need just a little bit of salt. But like I said, make this to your liking. Don't make it to nobody else but your liking. All righty. And like I said, that's all I have for you guys. And that's some of my chicken there. So we're gonna get rid of that. Clean this up a little bit. You know how I like my, my little area nice and neat. Drop them a fork. And so you know I wanna taste it again with my area clean for y'all. Let's put on a cracker and see how it tastes on crackers. This is just club crackers. You can do a rich cracker, club crackers, um, croissants, or whatever way you want to have it. But that's that good chicken salad. And I'll taste it. Yum, yum to your tummy. All right. Let's see how this is. I'm just cracking. Like I said, you can do it with croissants or. Yeah, I'm going to put some more grapes in that. That's not enough. So I said a half a cup. So if you got two and a half um, chicken breasts, if you like grape, you may want to do a cup of grapes. Mmm, mmm. It's delicious. I tell you, they're going to love it. They're going to love it, love it, love it. And your family, if you make this, they're going to love it, love it, love it. 
Okay, guys, that's all Mary got for you for you today. If you like what you've seen today, tell somebody about me. Don't, doesn't cost a dime to be kind. I love you. And what do I always say? Happy Sunday, everybody. Here's a little bit of a behind the scenes clip of what Pine Country Living got going on. We just set up. So we chopping up some pecans for you. So I hope everyone is having a good day and we are ready to see you in a bit.